Over the last 10 years or so, uh, we've increasingly turned to use of so-called biological or injection-based treatments to help us to control the inflammation uh, in Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. So we'll think about these treatments in you, particularly if you have certain patterns of disease or if the inflammation is proving unusually uh, difficult to manage or unusually difficult to settle down, and particularly where, for example, uh, azathioprine or mercaptopurine are not proving sufficient uh, to adequately control the inflammation. In that context, we're going to think about injection-based treatments, some of which are given in hospital uh, with regular infusions, usually every eight weeks, although that can uh, be adjusted, or they're given at home, self-administered at home, and to some extent there's a bit of flexibility around which of those treatment options we go for, and we can discuss that with you at the point that we're talking about these therapies, just to see which one of those approaches would suit you best. When patients arrive on the unit, um, their personal details are checked, and then they're allocated a, you'll be allocated a chair. Um, a set of observations will be done, so just checking temperature and blood pressure and heart rate. Then um, a trained nurse will come and have a chat with you just to see your general well-being. Are there any obvious signs of infection? Are there any concerns? Um, once those have been checked, then somebody will place a cannula, and we tend to use quite small ones um, for the treatment. Take some bloods, which are taken for before every infusion, um, and then the nurses will go and make the actual drug Usually during the infusion, patients don't feel um, any side effects, but obviously if there were any concerns, then we encourage patients to just um, let one of the nurses know so that they can be reassessed. Um, some patients report feeling a little bit washed out after the infusion, but for the most part, patients generally feel okay. Whenever we make an infliximab infusion bag, we ensure that we um, make it bespoke to a patient's dose. These bags are very expensive, and so there's a risk that if, if you miss your appointment, that the bag could be wasted. For a chance to be able to reuse the medication, we need you to let us know in advance if you can't attend. I was quite apprehensive at the beginning starting it because I'd previously only taken oral medication. So this was going to be a new experience for me. I would have to go and have infusions um, in a day unit in the hospital. So that would mean you know, a day out of my working life um, to go and receive the treatment. Um, it would be, I would be there for a couple of hours during the day. Um, and you know, it was, it was quite overwhelming. But when I started the treatment, um, I had a chat with um, our specialist nurses um, and they really helped me you know get to grips with what was going on and then I just brought family along um, for the infusions at the beginning so that I had company when I went in it would take a while to get going so I'd have some blood tests um, and then you know they'd start the infusion afterwards I'd have to wait around for a little while just to make sure I was feeling well after the infusion so it, it was quite a long long and tiring day but the benefit I had when I was on the infliximab treatment and when I had been on it for a couple of weeks was noticeable. I was my quality of life beforehand, you know, was was good, but after I started the infliximab, it was great. Yeah. I felt like a different person. It's just made me have a normal life, you know, get married, have a great job, have a wonderful baby. I didn't have any relapses, I didn't have any problems throughout my pregnancy um, and never had any side effects, neither did my, my, my child. So um, it, was, it was something I never thought I was going to be able to do. I would say that these are a highly effective way of managing inflammatory bowel disease. They are, to some extent, the magic bullet that everybody's talked about for a long time. They're not perfect. They don't treat everybody and get everybody completely well, but they are powerful therapies. They're expensive therapies, uh, but they're based on a better understanding of what actually causes the inflammation in the gut. They're more targeted in many senses uh, and certainly safe. So for patients in whom uh, the, the, the treating team have, have uh, uh, decided that that's the right approach to go for, then I'd fully support people just locking into those treatments, sticking with the treatment regimen as is prescribed, don't pick and mix, don't fail to turn up to appointments or you know, see the drugs in the fridge and say, well, actually, I don't feel like it today. Stick with the regimen and they'll really help you to get well, get better and carry on with your normal life, which is what we're all aiming for.